bow. Okay. So here's my zombie, very ugly and terrible. Uh, add just hairs there. So wait for a while. I'm gonna make the walking animation. There, a very terrible walking animation. Well, I wouldn't say it's terrible. It actually, looks kind of nice. There, so first I'm just gonna name this zombie. I'm gonna like uh, show here, then no, like hide. No, I'm gonna do show first. So, in our we're gonna do the walking animation first. So, make a variable called walk for this sprite only. Now, the walk it depends on your kind of animation. So, I only have four animations here so mine is gonna be like walk set walk to one repeat three times change walk by one it depends on how many in your costume arrangement mine is like this yeah so let's see so how mine looks like is Okay, that looks a bit too fast. So I'm just gonna. There, I think that's okay now. So now all we have to do is. Uh, I'm gonna like set it to maybe 20. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're just gonna arrange. Yeah, so now I already arranged it. So I think the perfect size is like 40. Yeah, they're 40. So I'm just gonna replace all of these with clones. So for this. So now what I wanna do is find out what the perfect speed is. So maybe negative two, negative one, negative point four. Yeah, maybe negative four is okay. So now for the like spacing, we know that there's only five lanes in here. Set x to nine nine nine. Then we're gonna find out what's the maximum. So in here, the maximum is about like. 90 so i'm gonna set y to 9 to pick random 90 to negative 144 now get your pea shooter go to your pea shooter then drag in this round y position divide by 56 9 times 15 6 then make it go to zombie just gonna delete sprite 5 because it's you know so in here now add another set y under the pick random then you drag this over here there now you have zombies in oh yeah maybe set it to 70 it depends on how wide your lane is Maybe I'm gonna 200. Now, in order to check if it fills all the lanes just like this, and maybe that's too much, maybe, uh, 71 and just gonna check again and I think that is okay we now have our oh oh yeah I forgot drag this back in case okay. 
so there yeah we've done already the zombies and stuff now time for the like zombie eating thing so make a thing called make a variable eating for this sprite only then forever if add an or if touching pea shooter or touching sunflower now and here I'm gonna set eating to maybe zero I'm gonna add a weight zero under this set eating to zero then in here set eating to zero then set eating to one now in here it's gonna be like if dragon if else if eating is equal to zero then it'll switch here but then if it's not then we're gonna switch it into the eating costume so now uh, I don't really have any eating costume so make your own like this add an eating switch costume to like eating like that I don't know and then so in here we're gonna make a uh, like wait point three seconds and then broadcast broadcast eating okay like mm, mm, like that here then here when I receive eating if touching zombie then yeah uh, we're gonna do this later in another video down here instead of the for the pea shooter instead of sprite one set it to zombie now so now I'm gonna try it just wait one second I create clone myself now I'll try oh yeah you also have to change the P to repeat until touching zombie so in here in this part broadcast P this is where it will detect when it's got hit this then zombies I think I'm gonna tone down the sunflower a bit maybe to 110 that is too many zombies so now you'll see that it's not really doing anything yet so I'm just gonna make this quick make HP for this sprite only set HP to like um, I don't know 10 then when I start this clone wait 0 seconds so that it'll have time to detect wait 8 wait until HP is less than 1 then I'm just gonna add a delete now you can add a like death animation here like repeat then switch costume to I'm not gonna add that yet so in here when I receive P if touching if touching P then change HP by negative two. It's not really. I'm just gonna. I'm doing this quickly. Wait. Set brightness effect to fifty. Then set brightness effect to zero. Now let's try one more time. there they're already dying so i hope you enjoyed this video next tutorial is gonna be like fixing some things over here and adding some other stuff okay i don't know bye